Hi, John Valvano here. In this video, I want to show you how to use the logic analyzer in Lab 2. Okay, so in order to use the logic analyzer, you need a Windows machine. Sorry, it doesn't work on a Mac. Okay, when we call the Lab 2 grader, we're going to send uh, the code here for turning on the logic analyzer. And what will happen is a bunch of pins on port B will be sent to your computer um, 10,000 times per second. And then there'll be an application on the PC which plots it. Okay, so we're going to call LabGrader with uh, a 1 for Logic Analyzer. Now, the rest of this stuff is just uh, my solution to Phase 1, uh, which is going to be um, uh, sending the L over and over again. Now, I put a little bit of delay here so I can see where the beginning of the delay, where the beginning of the L is and where the end is. Okay, for the logic analyzer to operate properly, uh, the program has to be running. So make sure you remove all the breakpoints. And then we're going to hit the go button. Uh, and my um, phase one is, run is running. The light is flashing the L code. Okay. All right, now over in the, uh, in the directory with all the projects, way down at the bottom is this application called Texas Display. It's the PC side of the logic analyzer. So I double click it. Now, if you remember what COM port it is, uh, you can set the settings uh, here, set the settings to whatever COM port you have and open it. Uh, but I'm lazy, and I don't remember what it is, so I'm going to use the automatic find it version here. So I'm going to do an open port, and it will find the first COM port. And uh, it's going to look for COM port 4. And so if I activate the logic analyzer here, I'll notice nothing's happening. Well, it's not COM port 4. It was COM port 5. So I'm going to close 4 and open 5. Okay. And now I see it flashing. You see that? It's flashing. Okay, so the logic analyzer has on the y-axis logic, and on the x-axis is time. And so one of the things we're going to do is slow it down. That's an F6. Okay, so I'm going to slow it down so I can see it. That's a function F6. Function F6. All right, so that's about a second's worth of, of measurement. All right. The next thing I can do with the logic analyzer is uh, set up a trigger. Okay. So uh, you can see from this particular trace that on my version of Lab 2, the output is coming here in channel 5. Okay. So I'm going to set up a trigger, a rising trigger on channel 5. And what that will do is make the waveform a lot prettier. Okay. And see, there it is right there. Uh, I think I'll zoom out one last time. Again, slower, F6. There we go. Okay. And then to get a pretty picture, I'm going to do a 1. Okay. I'm going to do a 1 until I get a, um, a picture that I want. Okay, one more. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, so now uh, this is a trace uh, suitable for the for the lab report. Uh, this is one letter L transmitted. If you can look at the um, uh, minimum high here, uh, the minimum high is these pulses here. Those are the dots. That's a high. That's a high. The smallest timing high is the dot. And then look at the maximum high that's this one, that's the dash, and then the minimum low, okay, the minimum low here are the inner element spaces. So these numbers here tell me uh, the inner element space is right, the dot is correct, and the dash is correct. Okay, that's the logic analyzer. Um, good luck and enjoy it.